Hi everyone, wanted to say hello. I'm missing you, missing school, I'm sure you are too. So I thought I would just quickly come on and say hi. I'm gonna make a couple of videos with Mr. Bolger's help. Um, he's gonna share his YouTube channel with us. So if you just go to YouTube and put in Mr. and Mrs. Bolger, you'll see his videos and some of the fun videos hopefully that I'm going to make. Um, okay, so I wanted to say hi. We are back to school, as you probably know, March 30th. Um, but it's virtual classrooms, so you should all be getting information for our Google Classrooms, and you'll be able to see the fun assignments that are in there from all of your teachers. Um, mine's really fun, and I think your parents will love it because it's gonna be helpful to them at home as well. Um, so that's really it. I'm gonna try to stay uh, online here and there as much as I can so that we can have some face-to-face -face contact, even if it's just video and you guys leaving some messages for me. Okay, so I'm missing all of you. I hope you're staying safe and staying inside and being helpful and hopefully cooking. I'm about to cook some eggs right now for my family. Um, we eat ours with goat cheese, which is a soft cheese. I'm not sure if you like it. My son loves it. Um, whenever we go get bagels, he's like, I'll have mine with goat cheese and a lot of places don't carry goat cheese, so we sometimes lie and say cream cheese is goat cheese, but now he's old enough to know the difference. So we always have it on hand at home. So first what we do, every time we cook, you know we have to wash our hands, right? And you all know how to wash your hands properly because I've showed you. So you have to get the soap in the inside. You have to do the outside. Don't forget your wrist other side and then your nail beds right so you have to do your nail beds both sides and then in between your fingers right and then we also need to make sure we rinse really thoroughly I say warm water they say it doesn't matter warm or cold but I think the hotter the better Okay, and then we always dry with a towel or a, a paper towel or a clean towel and you want to shut the water off with that as well, right? Okay, so on to co cooking. Um, I start with a cool pan always, so I'm going to put some butter into my cool pan and I'm going to get a paper towel and just smear that around a little bit. To, this is a non-stick pan, but it's older and so it still might stick a little bit. Okay, so you're just using the fat to grease the pan so that nothing sticks. And again, I'm starting my pan cool. It's not hot, it's not turned on at all, okay? All right, I also leave my butter out all the time because we go through it so quickly. And it's fine to leave out if you are just using it up quickly. Okay, so for eggs, this is for my whole family. So it's like two per person. There's one. Okay, now if you notice, there's one little eggshell down there. So the best trick is to use your eggshell itself to get it out. Hooray. Okay. I'm just gonna rinse my fingers now. All right. I'm gonna scramble up these eggs with a fork. You can use a whisk too. But usually, my brother, who lives locally, has a bunch of chickens, and they are amazing, and they make tons of eggs, more than his family usually can eat. In the winter, they slow down, so we don't get as many. But in the warm weather, we get more eggs than we can eat, so he, so nice to share those. So we just give them empty cartons and then we get fill them up with eggs. Okay, so again, I'm putting these into my cool pan. Now's the time if I, you want to add a little salt and pepper, you can. So I'm gonna put a little, I use pink Himalayan sea salt. I like a lot of pepper, as does my family. Now I'm gonna turn my heat on. I have gas at home. If you have electric, electric, that's fine. I almost said electrics. 
All right, and now is when I'm going to add my cheese. So I'm just gonna give this a stir. I'm over medium heat. And I need something to put some of my cheese. I usually use a knife, but I don't have one over here. So I'm just gonna crumble in some of this goat cheese. And my son would like me to use the whole block, but try to be a little healthy and not gain a thousand pounds while we're, we're all home locked in the house. So I'm gonna use about half that. And the thing with eggs, once it starts to, this cheese starts to melt in, we're gonna go low and slow. So you're gonna put that over low heat now. And I just mix in the cheese. And you can see nothing is sticking because we greased our pan. And we'll just do this low and slow. So I'm gonna have Mr. Volger cut the film. And when we come back, our eggs will be almost done. Okay, so these are coming together now, you can see. In fact, I'm gonna switch over from my spoon to a scraper. If we had a smell of vision you could smell how delicious. And I'm sorry if you hear all that clanking in the background, but Jeremy's playing with his Star Wars toys in the den. So now it um, comes a time where you have to decide how you like your eggs. So some folks like their eggs dry with not a lot of liquid, and so they're well done, and some like them a little softer. Um, Remember when we talk in class about food, when you remove something from the heat, it continues to cook. So if you know you like your eggs a little bit loose, then just take them off the heat about now because they're gonna continue to cook on their own, right? For a few more minutes. Um, eggs cool very quickly, so they won't cook long. It's not like meat on the grill. Um, my family likes them done, but not well done. So no browning of the eggs. I hate when scrambled eggs are brown. I just don't like the taste of them. I think it changes their flavor. So that's why I do my nice low and slow. So these are pretty fluffy. So right now, I would say another 30 seconds, and I'm gonna take this off the heat, and then I'm gonna leave it in the pot just for a few minutes, like a minute and a half, say. Um, and at that point, I would assemble my toast or anything else that we're having alongside, or fruit. So this is about it. So I'm gonna turn the heat off and I'm gonna let those sit a few minutes and then I would get my plate, assemble everything else and then I would serve my eggs straight out of the pot into onto each plate versus putting them in the container and having people self-serve because I feel like they cool down really quickly and it's just the three of us. Um, so that's it. So share with me how you like your eggs or if you hate eggs, tell me. And um, we'll start a little chat about eggs Maybe I'll show you a couple ways. I know a few of you asked on your sheets that we filled out a couple weeks ago how to poach eggs. I love poached eggs. Um, so yeah. So hope you guys are having fun, staying busy, and I'll see you soon. Bye.